Hi, this is Jerry. Welcome to my ninth episode of my Legacy Series. And uh, I'm, I haven't even retrapped this because the uh, sound was so bad of the Aristo Vigil that uh, I couldn't upload it. It wouldn't work. So, here I am. Let's see, we're working off at one box. Let's see what we have in that box. There's a few interesting things here. First of which is a bunch of little cards that I saved that were there. I most of these were going to my mom. And this I as a die cut card in there. I think they're all die cut cards. That's a neat one with a, a cats and a vase. Uh, I like cards that are kinda of cool. And uh, cats are a very important theme to me. I like cats. My mother likes cats. That's the one I get my mom. I think, uh, uh, don't recall what, when that was. And let's see, this one here is, is, oh, there's another one I gave my mom. Of course, this is a Hallmark card. Really a great thing to collect. I need to get some frames and put them in picture frames. Uh, they're really cool. I think they're cool. And uh, I don't know value, but just a, a cool piece of art. And I think this one here is from my former sister in law. It's not bad, it's die cut around the edges, yeah. And it has an interesting front there. Feels it's a uh, really embossed kind of uh, flower in the front there. And uh, let's see what else we have in this box. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I can't make up my mind on uh, where to put things. It's, everything's just cluttered in, in this place. I've been trying to get everything organized. Oh, yeah, and this this is a magazine, old magazine that I found that has an article on collecting, and uh, it's really good. And I'm going to show a separate video of that so you can see that better. And uh, let's see what else we have. Yes. Oh, okay. This is a really neat thing. It's a placid uh, power box. Belong to my mom uh, and Ava and Con Infinity or something like that. And uh, I don't know. I have a thing about containers. I like quite neat looking containers. And uh, I, I, I kept that. And see, it still has some power in it. I have to be careful handling it because uh, of my allergies. Uh, I recall one time I was at Target and some woman walked by. I got so choked up, I could barely breathe. I had to leave the store and get outside in fresh air because uh, whatever that lady was wearing really got to me. And uh, so I tried to stay away from females in stores because of the crap they wear. Anyhow, what do we have here? If you can live, read lips, <laughs> good luck. I probably should be listening to this and just repeating what I why uh, I'm saying, but I have to get an earphone. Uh, that's why I keep forgetting to buy an earphone. Uh, uh, oh, okay, these are dominoes. I, I made this years ago when I was working down south. Uh, I made, I had no money to buy anything extra for Christmas. Uh, and so I made everything. Uh, well, I had. So I made these dominoes for my dad. We used to play dominoes all the time. And just, I cut pieces of wood down and I stained them and I, instead of having little dots uh, drilled into the dominoes, I painted numbers on them like that. So it was a different way of doing it. I gave it to my dad. He, just, he never did use them. But it's just a, it's so unique. And uh, I think I'll show you another thing, uh, a flower vase I gave my mom, anyhow. 
made out of uh, 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 pipe cleaners, dyed pipe cleaners. It was a tough year. Working down south, uh, I worked three years down south for Arctic Brawler. And, and I loved the job, a pay sucked. And the cost of living was going up, and I could barely have enough money to buy something to eat. So I quit. I say that was a nowhere job. And I ended up working for my dad. He was looking for more. And the rest of the story there, I need to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, the way things worked out is pretty unreal. And in his box of some 78s, uh, Glenn Miller. Uh, this is really a, I have no way of playing these. I don't have a, uh, I, my, my application system, uh, is, is something, uh, I'm using it to uh, power the speakers off for this, for this computer system. And so I, 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 I took it from the, uh, uh, I took the app from the uh, turntable I have, so I, I can't play anything on that yet. Uh, I tried to show you what this one is. I can't even see what it is. It looks like it's a uh, Saturday something. Uh, anyhow, I, I would have to, uh, I should have more time on showing what those are, but... Uh, so, all 78s, all songs. Uh, they should have a list of those inside the inner leaf. Uh, but he did. Here's one outfit. Oh, uh, okay. Oops. What's happening is my computer is telling me that uh, I, my battery is going to run out. I'm working on, uh, on uh, my laptop. It has a better... Uh, 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 a webcam than the uh, than that Logitech one what I have on the uh, my uh, desktop, and uh, so I I like to use that better. It's a better webcam uh, than the, uh, it's a Lenovo webcam compared to this Logitech webcam, which really I'm not happy with it, and uh, but. Anyhow, so I'm changing the, put the battery on, plug it in, and, and here's a 78 by Buddy Clark. There's some, the songs in, in that uh, uh, album set there. I have no idea who Buddy Clark is. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out on the uh, internet. And inside of it, my parents have a record from RCA record, uh, I, what's the name, uh, I think it's, uh, this group is a religious group, uh, I'm not quite sure, uh, but here's, that's Billy Clark, again, he's listening to the songs, the writing is so small, I, I'm not going to take, I take time to show you what those are, uh, that writing is up close, this is too small. Columbia Records, and uh, that's really kind of neat. Uh, I like old records like that, old albums. I just like to be able to play them. Uh, I think I can play them with the turntable I have. It's just a matter of uh, having the uh, I need an amplifier to drive the the. Uh, Start, uh, sound from the stylus. And I see, oh yeah, this here is an album, full album. There's some pictures in here of my mom and her dog. And one of some carrots my father grew. And I think my dad is actually taking the pictures. And he was uh, at the time in a wheelchair. So this had to be before he died. He died in 1998. I think February in 1998, and uh, and uh, so this has to be before 1998, so somewhere in 95, 96, uh, if 
before he really got better. And, uh, that's my mom with her dog. She has a red doggy. That dog was given to her by my brother and his wife. And uh, uh, I can't tell you when and don't recall. She had her for a long time. There's a carrot my dad grew. Uh, he had these uh, planter boxes built. And uh, on his back, uh, out back in the patio area, it's all covered with uh, concrete blocks and whatever. And he had these uh, planter boxes built, and he planted carrots and other vegetables and worked in them from his wheelchair. That was a, I was really impressed and uh, uh, surprised too. <laughs> and uh, for other reasons. I just didn't think he really had a green thumb or even cared about growing plants. But it was a, a it was good to see him do that. And one more thing in the box. This thing, Christmas Activity Set. I had I saw this when I was a kid back in the forties, nineteen forties. So these so they had these from I guess late nineteen forties. I help my mom set those up under the Christmas tree. Uh, several occasions are on uh, on the uh, on a table. Sometimes you set them up on a table with angel hair. You got angel hair. It's basically wool and stuff. And uh, it's an interesting set. It's kind of neat. I like the art of it. It's, uh, you got there's a backdrop. And uh, that goes, the uh, front part is will come up at the end. And uh, it's, it's pretty neat art. It's a uh, heavy board. There's a shepherd boy. And a little thing that's still up by itself. And uh, there's a cavil. And I really like cavil. It's really neat. But, uh, uh, if you know the biblical story of the uh, birth of Jesus, you realize that the three oh, the shepherds are there, but the three wise men they didn't come in until uh, two or three years later uh, when they were living in a little home in Bethlehem, and uh, Jesus is probably uh, about oh probably yeah uh, three or four years old uh, and, and uh, that's what they show up so uh, I don't know three wise magi uh, activity is uh, is false it's just information just that didn't happen anyway that's a really cool set and uh, I hope you enjoy this video I uh, even though it's kind of weird and I have to talk, put in a new soundtrack. Uh, 